Lauren Babert sued for blogging constituents on Twitter, trampling on First Amendment. A former state lawmaker has filed a lawsuit against Republican Congresswoman Lauren Babert of Colorado, alleging that she violated the First Amendment by blogging constituents on Twitter. Babert has blogged at least 12 people on Twitter, with most of the counts belonging to constituents residing in Colorado's 3rd Congressional District according to Colorado Politics. Former Democratic State Representative Bree Bintello, one of the blog constituents, sued Babert in federal court on Sunday for infringing on her free speech rights. In the lawsuit filed by attorney David Lane in the U.S. District Court in Denver, Bintello said that she was blocked by at Lauren Babert Twitter account after calling the House Republicans' actions seditious. Babert prevented Bintello from viewing her Twitter account, replying to her tweets, or otherwise engaging with those who interact within the replies to her tweets, according to the suit. Bintello is seeking a preliminary injunction, mandating that Babert stop violating the Constitution. She swore on an oath to preserve, protect, and defend by unblocking critics from her district. Jeff Small, Babert's chief of staff, told Newsweek that the Congresswoman's office will not be commenting on any pending legislation. Bintello asserted that Babette is not above criticism in a Sunday interview with Colorado Politics. I know that better than most as a former representative myself. My hope is that she wakes up one day and stops trampling on the First Amendment and stops blocking people, she said. In a Sunday statement, Lane said, our client Brianna Bintello is a former elected state legislator who lives in Babette's district and is very concerned that Babette has no knowledge of, nor concerned with, the United States Constitution beyond the notion that somehow everyone can carry guns anywhere they so desire. Babette has blocked Bintello along with many other people who are critical to her authoritarian politics. Lane referenced a similar case filed in New York against President Donald Trump. Babette has not learned that lesson, he said. In 2018, a federal court judge ruled that it was unconstitutional for Trump to block people on Twitter over their dissenting political opinions. Judge Naomi Reese Butchwald in New York City ruled that the president's personal social media accounts and those of other government officials were public forums and that blocking critics was in violation of the First Amendment.